at his face. He's like trying to instigate drama. And the number one reason for divorce, period, is incompatibility. When you're 53 and 24, there's some incompatibility. We're not gonna make it. How the f does he know that? There's no way he would know that. Is it not worth the squeeze? It's still worth the squeeze, man. Like, you take love or you don't. Well, let's hope so. Let's just hope by the time I'm that old, if I make it that long, I've still got some juice in me to squeeze out. <laughs> Howdy. Why, Russ here. And Chris. If you guys are not subscribed, please support this channel. It means everything. We want our subscribers to go up, 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 up. Today, we're gonna react to Dr. Phil. And he has a TV show, obviously, but he also has a YouTube channel. And they put like little tiny clips. It was kind of frustrating because we tried to watch one show and it's like <laughs> done in like eight different clips. And you're like, oh man. But why I even clicked on the video in the first place is because Dr. Phil was like giving relationship advice to an age gap couple that has a very similar age gap to us. And he was like trying to use this example of a car. Yeah, what's their, well, they'll see. What is, what, see. Is, what is the their age gap? Just 23 years? 29. Oh, 29 but years. But we're 28 some of the time. 27 most of the time. 27 and a half. <laughs> I'm a little kid that half matters. We're 27 and a half. Let's start the video. I'm gonna start with the first clip that I saw. Let's look at divorce rates. For first marriage, everybody thinks the divorce rate in America is 50%. That's not true. It's actually, 35 to 40 percent, not as bad as everybody thinks. For second marriage, it's 60 to 65 percent. For third marriage, your chance of getting divorced is seven out of 10. I can't give up trying. I, I, my business fails prior. I, I get back up and I keep trying. I'm, well, I'm, I'm gonna keep <clears throat> running my, my head into the wall till I bust the wall or bust my head and hopefully I'm not busting my head with Brooke. So is this his third well, marriage what? or yeah. second? It is his third, I'm pretty okay. sure. I could yeah. be wrong, but I think it's his third. Well, let's look at the other risk factors here because there are also statistics on the likelihood of divorce based on age gap. So this is why we're reacting to this <laughs> because this is the first video I like watch and all of a sudden he's like trying to tell you that like because you have an age gap, you're more likely to get divorced. And you know, whether or not that's true, it's just like, it's such a weird, thing to like say to a couple. It's just, maybe it is just me. It's like walking up to an interracial couple and be like, you know, the odds of you guys getting a divorce is higher. So maybe you guys should like consider not getting married. Why would you say that? You know, you know, it would be politically incorrect. And I agree, that's just freaking rude. And it would just be none of your damn business. And it's just none of your <laughs> damn business. Even though they did agree to go on the show, but I'm just saying like, every marriage is going to be difficult in a different way. Yeah. Do you realize that? Like, okay, someone develops cancer. You have a couple and one of them has cancer. That's gonna be hard on the marriage. And and there are those instances where someone gets sick and it's like the spouse is out of there. Because there are also statistics on the likelihood of divorce based on age gap. If there's a 10 year age gap, 39%. A 20 year age gap, 95%. 30 year age gap, 172%. Do you realize we're close to 100%? Wait, 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 wait. We're closer Ooh, to 30 years. We're over, we're over 100%. That we're not gonna like. We're not gonna make it. But we've gotta get married before we even fit into this statistic. I am a person that does not think that you can have more than a 100% chance of something. Cent means 100. So one out of 100 is 1%. Five out of 100 is 5%. That's 172 when you can only have 100 to begin with. So I don't even buy that. Percent can also be uh, the percent between two different numbers. I think it depends, but I, I'm not, I haven't done math in a long time. Let us know. <laughs> what, what's your age funny. difference? 29 years. I understand where she's coming from. I think he's very hot. That's, that's me, he's completely my type. He's, he's a nice looking man. And this is your third marriage. Yeah. Now, you've got emotion involved, take the emotion out. Say I was selling you a car, okay? Yeah. Instead of marriage, and I, I said, okay, now David, this car I'm selling you, I'm gonna admit to you it's old. And I don't know whether it's gonna run or not. Because 172% of the time we get in it, it does not run. Why is the audience laughing? This is so okay. stupid. Yeah. And I know you've bought it once, I know, and it didn't work. And I know I sold it to you a second time, and it didn't work. And I know I sold it to you now a third time. I'm asking you to buy it, and it has never worked before. But what do you say? You want to buy this? Is he talking about marriage or the person? Dude, it's.
I'm stupid. I, it's just I, like, I this is, it. I'm sorry, Dr. Phil, you need to like learn how to use analogies because there is nothing to compare. He had three different marriages, so he wasn't buying the same car all three times. And no. Dr. Phil is talking it's about like him buying the these, same car. Each one of these women have a different motor. Yeah, and different car, get different frame, different frame. <laughs> so, I mean, like, he's not buying the same car three times. He was trying something and new. It's like, and what do you do if you buy a freaking lemon? It's not like you're going to drive that lemon for the rest of your life. Until you move you on. You move on and get a better car. <laughs> That's what Dr. Phil was trying to say. He was trying to say, if you would have just test drove the car before you bought it, it would solve all the issues. And how long do you test drive this car, i.e. marriage, before you actually marry? We probably don't make sense because of it, but <laughs> well, he, he mind effed us. Yeah, it was like, well, how, how do you start talking about something and make sense out of it if the whole basis makes zero sense? Well, and bottom line, why are you comparing a human being to a car? Or a relationship. Or a relationship. This is a freaking car. <laughs> a person and a car are not the same thing. Seriously. But what you say? You don't buy this? Like, we're not a car. Like, yeah. that's just different. Uh -oh. That's freaking different. I agree. <laughs> and she opens her mouth one time and she's already making more sense than Dr. Phil is. She caught right on that it's like, Dr. Phil, you're not making any sense, man. You might be getting the one paid here, but you're not making any sense. They're probably getting paid too for going on the show. If we're happy, I don't then feel the age why, difference between me and Barack. Why does it really no, matter? No, you to don't else? feel the age difference so much right now. Right. He can't acknowledge, be like, yeah, I'm glad you're happy. That's what I don't like about him in this. I actually put some pictures together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are not of you, but they're pictures of people that are similar. Okay, here's the difference when you're 44. And 73, this is your age difference. And the, you see, you accelerate in aging yeah. much more than she does. All I know is they have big smiles on their face. <laughs> they look pretty damn happy, man. And I don't know that these are actually couples. Even couples. Is it not worth the squeeze? It's still worth the squeeze, man. Like you take love or you don't. Well, let's hope so. Let's just hope by the time I'm that old, if I make it that long, I've still got some juice in me to squeeze out. <laughs> And here's the age difference at 54 and 83. So the age gap is this much now, but it's that much in 20 years, is that much in 30 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, you start aging a lot faster, but you got a 172% chance of never getting there anyway. It's not like you hit a certain age and for everybody it's like, okay, you hit 56. It's time now for we're you. gonna terminate you. Now you're gonna like um, start aging twice as fast. Turn it on over gear and just like all of a sudden like you get like 20 new wrinkles. No, no one ages at the same exact rate, dude. Let's say that um, the older man, he ate really healthy and she ate like crap. She might age a lot quicker. Yeah. Or if she was a smoker, yeah. she would look a lot older. Or if she drank every single day and was an actual drunk, she would also look a lot older. So it, it's all variable and genetics. It's like I mean, my it's grandmother lived to be 99. One of her sisters lived to be 105. Even the men lived to be in their late 90s, so I hope I got some of those genes. I mean, has he done it, like on the show, like uh, talk to a couple where there's a smoker and a non-smoker? That would be interesting to like talk about like how that affects the relationship. It would financially and health-wise. All this is variable with age. You can see a 30-year-old and be like, wow, they're really old looking. They look so much older than their age. And then you can see an 80-year-old and be like, wow, they look like they're in their 50s or 60s. And the number one reason for divorce, period, is incompatibility. When you're 53 and 24, there's some incompatibility. How the f*** does he know that? There's no way he would know that. You could be the exact same age born on the very same day in the same hospital and be totally incompatible. Or you can be 29 years apart and love bird watching, love nature, love hiking, love camping, love fishing, love the same kind of movies. Love the same kind of music. It's possible. We have a lot in common. Yeah, it's just like, to me, this whole show is just like a trash show that I've seen thus far. 53 and 24, there's some incompatibility. You wanna go to sleep in your recliner? She wants to go jogging. Let her go jogging. 
<laughs> and that's the other point. It's okay to have certain differences in your relationship. You might have a lot in common, but it's it's good to have certain things that you want to do by yourself. She may be wanting to be sitting on the recliner eating bonbons while he's out jogging too. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Just a few weeks ago, I found out my 53-year-old dad got engaged to his 24-year-old girlfriend, Brooke. The crazy thing is, Brooke is only four years older than me. Bree has told me just to stay out of her and her dad's life and just mind my own business. I feel Brooke is immature, she's manipulative. Frankly, I think she's kind of dumb. What would be an interesting show is in years and years from now, is to find out if whatever the daughter's name is, I can't remember, if she's ended up in a relationship with an older man. <laughs> That's the way life works, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you're planning an engagement party? Yes. You told me about your wedding two days ago. Oh, and we were like already doing the show. I know. I, it's another thing I had my head in the sand, Bree. You mean I, you just found out about the wedding? Look at his face. He's like trying to instigate drama. <laughs> he is, man. That's what these kind shows of shows are. are. This is all for ratings and I don't know. Well, here we are watching. I was going to say people that are all bored. <laughs> Dude, it popped up on our feed, on our YouTube feed, and it said something about Dr. Phil and like an age gap relationship. So oh, I was like, it directly, have... it directly like has to do with us. So yeah. I was like, what, what does Dr. Phil think about us? But Brooke can ask or invite her here. Do you want to be a bridesmaid? In the winning? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't laugh at that. That's kind of. I wouldn't. I wouldn't laugh. I wouldn't clap at it. I mean, it's like that's kind of family drama. That's yeah. not really clappable. And even yeah. Dr. Phil. Did you see his grin? He kind of even had a laugh on his face. I don't know. I, I just feel like he's a bit immature. I had a similar thing. My mom brought a guy into my life. I didn't want it. But most kids have the dream of wanting their parents to be together. Yeah. That's that's just unfortunately not the way the world works these days. I mean, my mom is happy now. It's like the fact that I couldn't see that, especially at a young age, that is what makes someone immature. That's why I think the daughter's immature. I said there are positives here. Finally, he's... He's not glass half empty. He's been glass half empty this whole time. How much he loves Brooke is, does not affect how much he loves you. That's two different accounts. He has a fatherly account for his daughter. He has a romantic love account here for his fiance. Dad to dad, I know the man loves you. He would die for you right now. But if she makes him happy right now, that's something you have in common. You both want him to be happy. He's finally made a statement that actually makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> nice. Good job, Dr. Phil. And quit being a worm and digging your head in the sand and be up front with your daughter about what's going on. That's actually wise. Like he does need to step up to the plate and tell his daughter and be more direct because it is his family and you should be more direct. But his daughter is definitely making it hard. And I can understand that if you have a family member that is not gonna be supportive about something, it makes it really hard to talk to him. Yeah. Well, that's how Dr. Phil feels <laughs> about uh, age gap relationships. He did kind of come around at the end, but he was glass half empty most of the time. And Dr. Phil gave a lot of stupid analogies about like age gap relationships. The whole car thing, that was just stupid. It That's was, a, it lame, was a lame, analogy. lame analogy. Go check out the videos, we will link them below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We want our subscribers to go. Up, 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 up. Also, hit the notification bell. More reactions are coming soon. Wire us. And Chris. Love you long time. And we're gonna cut his beard soon. We will. We keep saying that. No, we will. <laughs> it's you. They don't believe it. I, I I said we could cut it today and you said no. We've That's got a lot fault. of other videos we gotta do with this critter. <laughs>